Hello, welcome back. My name is Victor with Prudential California Realty, and today we're going to be discussing the pricing trends in some of the Western Inland Empire cities that you or your friends might live in. Uh, hopefully you've been checking out my videos lately, and you've seen some of my blogs, where it talks a little bit about the separation and activity from price range to price range. So, as I told you guys earlier, uh, anything below $350,000 is really moving off the market fairly quickly. That's entry level property for those of you out there looking for your first home, trying to take advantage of that $8,000 tax credit. And then the next pricing range would be between $350,000 to about $650,000. That's mid range. And uh, we've seen a slight decline in prices and activity there because most people who are selling in that price range either have to sell because they're behind on their mortgage or maybe are relocating to a, a new position somewhere outside of the, the county, the state, or even the country. And anything above $650,000, well, they're really getting a, a bad deal here because, again, the market really isn't moving as fast as it would be on normal years because most people in that price range aren't selling unless they absolutely have to. So I want to go over a couple of uh, quick statistics with you. Hopefully you get some good information out of it. Uh, we're going to start with Claremont, California, one of the pride of the foothills. Um, the average sales price right now in Claremont is roughly $644,000. Now, now I know it's a week-to-week -week, uh, comparable, but that's down 2.9% from last week. So uh, that's a big dip for one week. But again, you know, next week hopefully they get a couple of higher sales prices, which will average that out. Uh, same thing with Rancho Cucamonga. Uh, you know, there's a lot of short sales and a lot of bank-owned properties there in Rancho, and their average sales price today is four hundred and sixty thousand dollars. That's actually down two point one percent from last week. Now, Fontana, on the other hand, just you know, on the other side of the 15 freeway, uh, they have a median sales price of two hundred and fifty-eight thousand dollars. Now, as I told you before, anything under 350 is moving fast. So right here you can see Fontana actually has a median sales price of $258,000 right now. And that's up 4.2% from last week. So that's a, a pretty big jump in one week, wouldn't you think? But again, that shows the sense of urgency that these entry level first time buyers have because you know that tax credit it expires in about what, 48, 45 days or so. So if you're looking to buy, you might want to hustle up and try to get into something really fast so you can get your $8,000 tax credit. Now we're going to go to Riverside County for a minute. Uh, Corona, California, uh, right on the borderline of, of entry level pricing and medium priced homes. The average sales price in Corona is $354,000 and that is a dip of 0.7% from last week. So hasn't really changed too much, but just slightly. And then uh, last but not least, uh, the beautiful city of Chino Hills with an average sales price of $571,000. Now, nothing sold in Chino Hills last week, so it stayed the same week over week. So let me know what you think about these videos. I'm going to try week over week, or do you think month over month is better? I don't know. You tell me. My website, www.victorforhomes.com. That's the best way to get in touch with me. You can go ahead and call me on one of my cell phones, 909-714-213. You'll find all that information on my website. And if you guys have any input, please send me a message, Facebook me, Twitter, the whole deal. You guys know. Get in touch with me. I'd really like to know what you think because I'm doing these videos for you. So, again, thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you enjoy your weekend. Take care.